Sorry about the uh, poor quality of this video here. I can't find the charger for my regular camera. So I'm recording this on an LG Optimus V. Um, the quality sucks. Anyway, this is the first ever voicemail notification fix for the Evo 3D. Um, I developed this myself. We're going to go ahead and call from my other phone here. I'm going to go ahead and use Google Voice because I don't want everybody knowing my number. Now let me turn the speaker on here. I'm going to go ahead and decline that. You have reached the voicemail box of 321-696-1850. And that's a throwaway number, so if you people on YouTube decide to call me on that, uh, well, more power to you, but that's not my number. It's a count I just put a couple of bucks on, so I could test this out. And here we go, moment of truth. Looky, looky, we have voicemail notifications, native voicemail. One new voicemail. And... Um, we can go ahead and call it again to see that the counter works. Um, we'll go ahead and do that again. You have reached the voicemail box of three two one six nine six one eight five zero. All right, another test. And then we can go ahead and call voicemail here. New messages. First new message from phone number 321. Three zero zero five eight eight five received at five o two p.m. And that's a throwaway number. So if you people on YouTube decide to call me on that, uh... message erased. Next message. Message erased. There are no more messages. Main menu. And there you go. Voicemail notifications. Evo 3D. I know you probably can't tell that this is an Evo 3D with this horrible camera I've got here, but there's the switch to put it into 3D mode. And I'll go ahead and I'll pull up the app drawer here so you can see that this is, in fact, an Evo 3D. Somewhere on here is Spider-Man. There's Spider-Man. This is an Evo 3D. We'll go ahead in here and show you the... This is an Evo 3D, about phone, software information, and that's the software it's running. Sense 3.0, 2.3.3, and it is not on a native Sprint carrier. I'll go ahead and call up, pull up the voicemail app, and you'll see that the voicemail app for visual voicemail does nothing useful. It'll just sit there forever. And uh, this video is already longer than it needs to be, so there's pretty much the uh, proof. Visual voicemail, not active. Regular native voicemail notifications, all set.